Hey guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. Today we are sitting in the Volkswagen Amarok, the new generation 2023 to 2024 versions. Today I'll show you how to control and how to use all the features in the center entertainment screen. As always, you can find all the timestamps down below if you skip forward, if you wish to. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe and like, that would be really helpful for the small channel. Let's turn the camera on and get started. All right, here's how the screen looks like. First thing on the top left, you get the temperature from exterior temperature, time display on the right, and the home button over here. Whenever you want to go to any screen, you can just click home to select whatever you like. I'll go through that later. In this, you get your main display panel for your information, whatever you selected, navigation, radio, whatever. Under this, you can click the small one or big one. You can minimize this or give a small display or big display for your quick adjustment, for example, phone, CarPlay, uh, navigation, things like that. Underneath, you get aircon control. When you tap anything, just change whatever you like. These allow you to adjust the heated seats if you have that available. Or go to climate, change whatever you like. I'll explain that later as well. Underneath, we get all the physical buttons. First one is the hazard light. On the, on the next is the volume button or on and off for your radio. Again, music, all and off. Next, we have the parking information to engage your parking sensors or parallel parking assist, things like that. Next one is the menu for your climate. This is the same as this particular function. And then next is your safety features. When you click this, you can see your driving assistance or other things, whatever you touch on the screen. Last one is you can see your drive mode. So click the mode button that allows you to go into the different drive modes to select all the way between normal to deep snow or sand, whichever you like. Again, tap this, it's gonna go off. So that's how to use the quick adjust buttons. Next, I'll quickly show you the climate control first. Go, go into climate, just click this. You can do on and off on the top over here. That's off, that's on. Uh, Demister for the rear windscreen. Max AC if it's in hot summer. AC on and off, that's up to you. Fan speed up and down, whatever you like. You can do front defrost. You can do direction to the top, direction to the bottom. It will have a nice display in the center that tells you where you're going. You can do dual climate control. That means I'll tap this. I, you can see there are two different temperature displays. If you click the dual to be off, that means two temperature will be connected to the driver temperature. You do also have the recirculation or non-recirculation. You can also auto, non-auto, whichever you like. If you want to change off the auto, just press the fan speed to go back to non-auto. And to change the temperature on the driver, just click this. You can go left and right, swipe left and right, or plus and minus to go left and right. So pretty easy with the temperature display. Additionally, one thing I forgot to mention, underneath the information bar underneath, you can also swipe left and right to change whatever you like. Whenever you change anything on the menu, let's say we are going to radio, you see this notification will change because the radio is already there. Instead, you're gonna have navigation over here. But if you want to go through navigation, just press this. The navigation will pop up and the radio will be displayed under this instead. So quite a cool feature whenever you want to change anything. Otherwise, press this, it will bring a nearly full screen display, so to speak. Next, whenever you want to do anything, just click the home button and go to different functions. First one, we're going to go to the vehicle setting. So there are tons of information you can do. So under the vehicle, so first thing we can see the vehicle pops up. If you want to select whatever, you have other things as well. We're going to go to the vehicle first. First thing, you can have the vehicle power downtime. You can turn this on and off. If you do want to learn more about this particular function, just use the I, which is information menu. That means it will automatically switch off if it's unattended or anything like that. You can have rear occupant alert, so it's going to give you warning if the rear occupant is not released or anything like that. Key detection alert, again, it's going to give you a warning if you locked your key inside the vehicle or trying to lock your key inside the vehicle. Driver personalization, you can change all the things. You can even create a personalized key. So when you create a personalized key, it's gonna memorize your seating position, your some settings for the radio control, things like that. You can adjust this. You can even add different drivers if you wish. You can have alarm system. You can, you know, if you want to ask it on X side or not, you can have motion sensors to keep them on or off, whichever you like as well. 
windows, you can do global open and global close. That means when you power off the vehicle, when you get out of the vehicle, you can press and hold the lock button to go all the way close. That means all the windows will close. When press, uh, un press and hold unlock button, all the windows will drop all the way down. Wipers, courtesy wipers, it's going to wipe a few times whenever you do anything. Or rain sensing, obviously we wish we would have that in New Zealand, but again, you, you can disable that if you wish to. Lighting, you can do dynamic light assist, so the light will just automatically go up and down, left and right for you. You can also have headline de delay, that means when you shut off the vehicle at night, it's going to give you a 20 seconds delay so you can see your surrounding areas. Again, that you can change whenever you like, off 10 seconds, 120 seconds, whichever you like. Lock, you can automatically unlock the door, and that means when you power off, automatically unlocks. Uh, you can do mislock chirp, you can do audible feedbacks, you can do unlocking. Under the unlocking, you can do all doors or driver door. That means when you unlock or press the unlock button or use key entry on your door, which whatever you choose, all doors, that means all the doors will be unlocked whenever you touch once. Key three, that means you get key entry. If you do not want to use this, you can disable that as well. Mirrors, you know, auto fold when you lock the car, automatically folding. So pretty simple. That's the vehicle. And once we've done vehicle, we can quickly go through other things in different different parts. These will show you the vehicle settings about vehicle driving, things like that. If you go left over here, you can go to different drive modes, but under different drive modes, you can also do the selection to change other things. You can have access to camera, driver assistance, all those things. This is more like a quick adjustment for small things, where this is more like a detailed adjustment for all the things. I'm going to go through this list first to show you all the things. First one is sound. You can change all your sound for tone settings, uh, up and down, whichever you like. You can change your balance, go forward and backwards. You can reset if you wish to. You can do adaptive volume. That means the volume goes up on higher speed and drops down at low speed automatically. You can do stereo sound, stereo or surround, whichever you like, whatever you like. Next. We can do radio, you can do all sorts of radio settings for your traffic announcement, radio text, regional, things like that. I don't think I need to show you this if you wish to. Phone list, you can see all the phone list, whoever is connected to this device. You can delete one of the phones if you wish to. You, let's say we want to delete this, just delete. Or you want, if you want to connect one of these phones, either for wireless Apple CarPlay or Bluetooth or music, just tap this. As long as the phone is within the range, you can disable that or you can connect that. Next one, driving assistance. You can have all the driving assistance that's available. First one is auto stop start. You can enable, disable that. So the vehicle is not gonna power off at traffic lights and power on when you start. Uh, unfortunately, this gets reset every single time. Next, you can also have auto hold. So that means when you come to a complete stop, it'll hold your brake and then you don't need to press the brake all the time. When you are ready to go, you just press the accelerator, the car will go forward, releasing the brake for you. Cruise control, you can adjust it to standard cruise control, so that means it's not going to be adaptive, where if you select ACC, it's going to be adaptive, automatically changing the distance between you and the front traffic. This will, help, this will be helpful if you're driving traffic. Land cap assistance, this gets reset every single time, as Billy, I believe as well. But you can disable, enable it whenever you like, so there will be no more line assistance. Speed and sound recognition reads out the speed sound for you, so it display on the dashboard. Again, disable, enable, whichever you like. Next one, speed assist. You can do speed warning, so if you go over a certain speed, um, over the speed limit, uh, the speed limiter rating, it's going to give you warning. You can also have intelligent speed limiter, so under the speed recognition, it says 50. If you go over 50, it's trying to slow you down, so it does not allow you to go 50, things like that. I do not like this, but it's up to you whether you want to like it. Line assist, it's going to be the same as the other one. You can quickly change mode, alert or aid. Alert means it's going to only give you alert. Aid means it's going to give you steering adjustment. Sensitivity, low, medium, high, whichever you like. Under front assist, you can see the distance indication. When you start driving on cruise control on high speed, it's going to show on everything on the balance in front of you. Automatic emergency braking, so the vehicle will give you emergency braking if necessary before you crash into something or someone. 
steering assist in case you are actually likely to crash into something or someone the vehicle may give you a very emergency steering assist you can enable and disable this whenever you like alert sensitivity normal medium or high whichever you like rear view camera delay that means when you put on reverse and the vehicle show the reverse camera if you enable that when you drive forward it's going to show a little bit more camera angle for you before it shut off again so that's quite handy again up to you side assist land change system that's your blind spot detection so it's going to give you warning on your wind mirror and you can see who is coming behind you and give you indication again disable enable whenever you like Parking distance control, you can do front sensor, rear sensor, so that means automatically switch on uh, when you get close to something and uh, you have this always on pretty much. Rear traffic alert, that means when you reverse out of the car park, if someone is driving behind you on the left and right, you will get the notification, get the warning on your wind mirror. Reverse brake assist, that means when if you reverse too fast, then the vehicle may give you a brake, emergency braking, if you're likely to crash into something or someone. Next, we can go to the vehicle. So vehicle is already down, so I don't need to go through the game. Last one is the general. Under the general, we can change the language. We can change the temperature unit. We can change all these units, all those things. Last important thing, we can change the touch screen beep. If you do not like the beep, so that means touch anything. It's not going to beep anymore. Or touch this to cancel the beep. You can also reset the system if you wish to. Next one, we have display. So you can change the display for this particular vehicle. You can have a cam screen. That means just display off sort of thing. You only have time display over here. Touch anywhere, it's gonna come back. Next one, you can change your brightness. You can do left and right, whichever you like. Also reset. Mode, you can change the different mode function. Auto mode means switch between light and dark mode. Light, stay on light. Dark, stay on dark. That's whatever you like. Otherwise, auto is probably preferred by most people. Next one, we have clock. You can change your clock settings. You can go up and down, manually change it. You can also enable auto time update. That means New Zealand time, summer and winter time is going to be automatically changed by this vehicle. Connectivity, you can change Bluetooth settings. You can change wireless Apple CarPlay settings or wireless Android Auto settings. You will see all this information. You do not need to do anything. You do not need to reset the information to be fair. Voice operation, you can do voice command. Um, again, um, there are some tutorial videos on voice command on this. Um, if you want me to do one, I'll do a video for you in the future. But easy way, listen to wake mode. And that means you can press this and then all you need to do, just search hello, just say hello Volkswagen and then a voice command will be up there. Otherwise, disable that if you do not wish to have it. You can do voice command help. You can control all these things, climate, media, navigation, phone to radio. So quite handy. Next, towing. There's tons of information you can do with the towing. You can set up the trailer. You can add a trailer. I'm not a trailer expert, but to personalize this thing, just add a trailer based on whatever your trailer name and you can disable, you can able, enable all the functions for your trailer. When you connect your trailer, just select and then it will do whatever you wish to for your trailer connection. Last one is ambient lighting. I believe this is only available on the higher spec. You can enable that. You can do brightness up and down. So it shows a little bit more ambient lighting around the vehicle. Otherwise disable, it's not gonna show up. After this is done, we'll quickly go to the vehicle. First one, we are going to go to drive modes. So you can change different drive modes, which if you like, whenever you want to select. You can also press this button, of course, to, enable, to quickly go into this menu to quickly adjust the drive mode. Next one is the camera. You can enable the camera over here. When you put the vehicle on reverse, this automatically shows up. This vehicle is equipped with 360 view camera. You can do parking sensor on and off quickly at the corner. You can do the camera angle on this device. So you can see the on the right, on the left, you can see the at the back, you can go forward and backwards whenever you like, so that's helpful. You can also do setting menu, so that shows the trailer, uh, shows the assistance, shows the front view, shows the rear view, shows the things like that. So that's helpful when you do parking. Next, we have driver assistance, so you can quickly adjust auto stop and start and auto hold functions if you wish to. Again, full details, you can go into that or go into additional settings in the graphic. Towing, you can quickly adjust all this towing again. You can do even connection checklist, you can add a trailer, you can do all the settings. 
more detailed function, you can explain that in the setting function. Parking, you can navigate to parking uh, spaces around you in the navigation setting. You can also do park assist, that means uh, the vehicle do parallel parking or steering assist for you. There are tons of videos available on YouTube about how to engage the park assist. You can also do park distance control sensors, that's just parking sensors. You can do additional settings, it's going to go back to the big setting over here. Valid mode, you can set up your four digits pin code so no one can adjust or no one can change all your settings on the screen in case you are going to send it to valid or groomers, so to speak. Next one, we're going to go to radio, which is this particular screen. Under the radio, you can select AM and FM. DAB, unfortunately, is not available in New Zealand. Anyway, going to AM and FM, you can click different radio icons to change different radio stations. These are your favorites. To go into to go change different radio stations, just single click. It's going to search to next radio station and it's going to show information over here. If you click this icon over here, it's going to show all the radio stations that's available in this particular area right now. Click this, you can sort by alphabet or network. If it's by alphabet, you can see it's going to change, it's going to see. If we want to go to Breeze, we're going to click Breeze, you can see this radio station we are listening to right now. If you do want to override the radio station to some of the radio stations over here, click on hold. There we go, preset stored. That means the radio station is now saved over here. And if you want to go to settings of the radio station, just click this. It's going to go to the radio settings to change whatever you like. Traffic announcements, radio tags, things like that. Otherwise, cancel, we can go back. Next, we can go to the phone. So phone connections, fairly easy. You have Bluetooth, which is the first way to connect. You can add the device and use your phone to search a device over here. It will connect to Bluetooth. Additionally, this has wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. When you connect, after you connect to the Bluetooth, you can also authorize wireless CarPlay. That means without connecting the USB cable underneath, you can use your CarPlay navigation or Android Auto, whichever you like. So that's pretty simple. I have done a video on other screens before on the Volkswagen vehicles. So search that video if you wish. Next is the navigation. So I'll show you quick ways how to search everything. This is where we are. You can drag left and right and then center, go back. If you want to search anything, just press the search bar over here and type whatever you like. Let's say we're going to type 5 King Street. You can see that already popped up. You can keep typing, even typing the code. Click this. That shows where we are. You can click go, whichever you like. That means it's going to go, start, start driving, or you can do root settings. You can change all your route and all that things, whichever you like. Otherwise, click go. It's going to start Please guiding us. Route. Just like that. You can change different route. Press this. You can see the route display over here or you can press, um, you can see the information uh, we have about a few minutes to go, two kilometers to go, things like that. So just a quick way, you can cancel on the top. And whenever you like, you can also click this information bar, you can see the tools of parking, traffic alerts, uh, exit service, you can do settings, allows you to do map and vehicles and all sorts of details. You can set this up, I don't need to show you everything, this is just a quick guidance video. You can even do map display, you can even save your home location. Over here, you have quick adjustments for your favorites, for your recent, for your home, for your work. You can do all these things whenever you like. You can do plus and set up these things. It's also got a voice command, you can quickly um, type your details in this vehicle as well, using the voice command. Next is the media. When you never connect to anything, you can play the media source. Let's say Bluetooth or Android Auto, Apple CarPlay through the media. Um, that's going to show all your information on the top. And you can see Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Whenever something's connected, it will show up. All right, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the contents. If you do, please subscribe and like. That would be really helpful for the channel. As always, I'll see you next video.